Okay, good morning everyone. Okay, today my group is going to present to you about ethylene benzene production. Before before we start our presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is Mugundan. I'm Ri. My name is Ayuri. My name is Tarshini. And my name is Tarani. So let's begin. So for the introduction, uh, ethyl benzene is an aromatic hydrocarbon with chemical formula C. CH5, CH2, and CH3. It is highly flammable, colorless liquid, and has an odor similar to gasoline. Ethyl benzene is produced by the catalytic alkylation of benzene with ethylene. So, in our process, the ethyl benzene is produced by the alkylation of liquid benzene with gases ethylene into the first reactor. The liquid phase reaction of ethyl ethylene with benzene will produce, will produce the ethyl benzene. Okay, for now we are uh, explain on the PFP. As you can see, the initial feed and the recycle feed will enter the first reactor and the second reactor. And it will proceed to two distillation column where it will get purified and the product will be uh, ethyl benzene. Okay, in this process, there will be two reactors, which is the CSC reactors, and they will have equal size. Reactors, the both reactors contains liquid benzene. And the total benzene stream is distilled from first column and fresh benzene and ethyl feed is fed to the reactor, which is the first reactor. And all of the ethyl, ethylene and benzene reactant leave as ethyl, ethyl benzene product in distillate 2 from second column. Okay, diethyl benzene and ethylene, ethyl benzene are generated in the first reactor. Then coming out from the first reactor will be the unreacted ethylene. The temperature of the saturated steam will be 415 Kelvin, whereas the temperature of, temperature of the first reactor is 434 Kelvin. The effluent of the first reactor is fed into the second reactor. The recycled diethyl benzene that comes out from the bottom of the second column is fed to the second reactor. The second reactor converts all of the diethyl benzene formed in the first reactor back to the ethyl benzene. The effluent of the second reactor is at high pressure and also is at high temperature. Okay, for the first column, uh, it has a 21 stage and a refract ratio of 0 0.784. Uh, the first reactor operates at 0 0.3 atm. Uh, it will give a refresh drum temperature of 350 Kelvin and it permit the use of cooling water in condenser. Distillate is uh, distillate, uh, distillate that we get is mostly benzene which is mixed with the first benzene and recycled to the first reactor. Second column has 25 stage and it uh, a refract ratio of 0 0.672. Distillate is high purity ethyl benzene. The bottom diethyl benzene is recycled back to the second reactor. Okay, uh, now I will explain more about the operation condition for both CSDR. Okay, for the first CSDR, the temperature uh, operation temperature is 434 Kelvin, and for CSDR, the second CSDR is 433 Kelvin. And then for the pressure, the both CSDR have the uh, same pressure which is 20 atm and then the size also same, 200 meter cube. Okay, and then the fit of benzene at 20 atm and 430 kelvin is 630.6 kmol per hour and the fit of ethylene at 20 atm, 434 kelvin is 630.6 kmol per hour and the molar flow rate for the second CSDR is 282.2 kmol per hour okay for this process we choose CSDR as our reactor there's four there are four reasons for it first it's suitable for continuous process since this ethyl benzene production is a continuous process Secondly, it is easily adapted to two different phase runs when the benzene will be in liquid form and also in steam form. And it has a very good temperature control system. And finally, it benefits us economically since it's a low operating cost equipment. That's all from us. Thank you. Thank you.